Um, I remember my first day of class theater training when Candy came in and she just shared about all the amazing things that she did with her class. And it was in that moment I was just so inspired and I couldn't wait to have that same connection with my um, learning community as well. As someone going into the field of education, being a class leader was something that I was always really interested in doing and I wanted to be able to do it to the best of my ability. It, it totally feels like a full circle moment, you know, because um, the, the main person that recruited me to come to K-State was Dr. Bosco. All of my time at the state of school has made me to where I will be a better teacher. It's definitely made me a better student teacher. It's pushed me to be a better person, and through this, I figured out my passion. And just being a class leader has been such a great experience. I've loved both of my two learning communities, and I've learned so much from them. I remember when I was signing up for that student visit, I checked that little box that said, I want to learn more about leadership. And wow, that little box has exploded into so much more than I could have ever imagined. To be finishing out my school experience and, you know, receiving this incredible honor has just been such a great experience for me. I think that I have been incredibly lucky to have incredible mentors that have come out of specifically GFSL. It's been an incredible opportunity to be a part of these experiences and to give back to the community. I was able to use my, my strength of positivity to really brighten up the mood and make those strong connections with my students right away. Um, and it was in those moments where they really bonded together and um, made lifelong friends. When I became a class leader, when I had the opportunity, I really wanted to focus on building those relationships with my students and inspiring that collective purpose within my learning community and really making them feel comfortable and able to share those vulnerable parts. The biggest thing I'll probably take away is the importance of community and relationship building. This building is so special and the people within it. I can't think of any other place on campus um, where you are like in the classroom learning, but like those people also have this element of like hominess and like family. I think all the classes, all the activities that I've done, and all the people that I've met have really encouraged me to do better in not just ways that are learning the newest or differentest way of doing what I'm already doing, but instead to take what I'm doing and to change it myself. All of the staff and students are super welcoming and genuine, and I honestly don't think that I would have been able to you know, complete this certificate program if it weren't for all of the help and support that everyone in this building has been able to give me. You know, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't be me if it wasn't for lead studies. They they let me be E and that I I just can't thank them enough for that and through employment, through friendships and through mentors, like it's all it's all been there. Because I want um, future generations and future students to come and be able to reap the benefits tomorrow that we're um, sowing today. I guess I would want to thank my dad specifically because he was the one that pushed me to become involved in this daily school. Um, like when we toured here at K-State when I was a senior in high school and my dad was like, that'll be you one day, you'll be a class leader. And it was right, he was right. So.